Hello and welcome to another episode of Inside the Barrel, uh, where me and Doreen talk about all things consulting with ServiceNow. Today's topic is ServiceNow's new community site. And we have some guests with us. Mike and I, no, or Ash, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, what a day. It's been so busy. But uh, we'll turn it over and allow them to introduce themselves if they'd like. Who wants to go first? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go for it, Mike. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my name is Mike. Um, and um, we have a kind of alumni meeting here today because I was in the same CTA class like um, Dorian and Ashutosh. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm also a community MVP and um, yeah, I work as a ServiceNow technical architect and yeah, I'm, I'm really new to this universe. My, my ServiceNow journey started um, at the beginning of 20, um, 2020. So, and um, I'm really, yeah, I really like this journey through the ServiceNow universe. <laughs> Yeah, welcome. Awesome. I, I thought I was like new to the ServiceNow journey when I was like in 2019, maybe 2018. I feel like it's oh. changed so much. <laughs> you, you were all babies. <laughs> babies. I've been in it since like 2014. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Me as well, 2014. Oh. So. Oh, good. good, good. <laughs> uh, I'm Ashutosh. I'm also a dev MVP and community MVP. Uh, also attended the class with Dorian and Mike for CTA program. We had a fun. Uh, apart from that, we have our own podcast, uh, still pending list for Dorian and John, um, <laughs> finding a suitable topic to invite you. Uh, but I do it with Roof and I have my own YouTube channel, my own website. So that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. So. Um, so John, you said you had a couple shout outs. Uh, I do, because um, we're talking about community, right? The ServiceNow community has always been kind of a, a neat thing. It's, it's pretty tight. Uh, a while back, you know, I, I met a lot of people because I used to go to all the the knowledges. And uh, so I know we're going to talk about commun the community site, but I, I, I'm going to shout out to some people off of SN Devs on Slack. Uh, I posted a question the other night and I got uh, some hits from none other than Paige. So shout out to Paige for answering me. Shout out to uh, Brad Tilton because he answered me too. And then uh, another another person, Dave, let's see, I think it's just Dave L. He uh, made a suggestion also to help me in my quest in trying to style AI search where it's uh, one of those uh, new, I think it's a React component that they brought through the portal that's troublesome. And uh, so shout out to all you guys. Thank you for the help. I appreciate it. That's why I love ServiceNow community. It's so nice. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and kind of like switching gears to the community, like if you, I think it was on our last week's uh, uh, podcast that I had to go to community and I was like, I must be on the wrong site because it looks completely different. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't look like it's from the 1990s anymore. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for those that don't know, like ServiceNow's community site is pretty much a, uh, a self or people generated content where we post questions and get answers. Um, and and yeah, like it's, you could find things, um, uh, lots of people, as you can see, are 6,000 people, it looks like, have posted in the last couple minutes, if that's how this online uh, feature works. And I'm just refreshing to see if that actually changes. Oh, it does. Wow. Uh, and it looks like there's like 500 community members around the world. So super cool. I like these stats. What about any any anything from you guys on like your experience in the past about using community, and how did that work? Yeah, I like I said I started with ServiceNow in 2014, pretty new to the platform, so whenever the help was needed, that was the place where we used to go and search for the content, right? 
<clears throat> and actually that motivated also me to contribute towards the community and if i look at the evolution of community site uh, it has changed a lot because if you look at the ui which we had in 2014 and what we have now is totally different um, at least the home page for now is very intuitive for me but uh, the new things which we are doing at the moment uh, like uh, i think mike will also shed some light on it but there are some struggles to be honest with this new site uh, but my experience specifically with community site was uh, getting in touch with more and more people also it helped me in networking and to create my own content and to learn from it so that is something uh, i i would like to start with in this call we will obviously go into details later on but this is what i think how community has helped me and how it can help others yeah i totally agree with with what i should have said um i was also really engaged in the old community um Uh, interesting for me in the new community i um, it's the first time that i can see how many questions i have answered I, in the old community it was not possible to see this kind of counter and always um, assumed something um, but on this personal profile page you now can see the the number of your replies yeah and um there yeah, yeah i also have some i also struggled um, a lot uh, with the new community and um there are a lot of discussions um in the community on different pages um some people say they like the new community and and uh, some people say they yeah they don't like it because of the new concepts and and yeah um it's not easy at the moment to find something so the overall um yeah got it um, yeah go ahead mike Yeah, um, you have opened the the, the starting page, uh, which, uh, by the way, looks completely different um, after you have logged in. Um, maybe you want to do this. Um, yeah, one of yeah, the so. <laughs> misunderstandings of of mine that I couldn't see the contents. Now, you, if you if you scroll down, you see some yeah interesting uh, like, features. You have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, well, first off, it's interesting is I am Dorian Four. Um, yeah. was... <laughs> I have um, a question. Um, open. What's up, Dorian? <laughs> for um, uh, yeah, super interesting. I mean, maybe Dorian, um, let's let's change this. This is some some of the the questions the user said, and I think I know where to go. Yeah, yeah. Please go to your profile page. Yes. Yeah, and I, I have pasted the... a, a link. Uh, I don't know if I can do that, Dorian. Do uh, do. Yeah, I, I can see link. Yeah, then then try the link is. Yes. Oh, wait. You have to like go to this direct link. Wow. That's But so uh, I have seen an issue, uh, Mike, because I posted the same question in the forum that how can I change my name? Uh, and if the original name is already taken, you can't do it. You literally have to delete the account. Yeah. Uh, okay. For a seal like this. <laughs> oh. Wow. Ah, that's the reason why you got the number at the end, yes. Yeah, but but there should be only one, Dorian. Yeah, but if you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thinks he's so special. But yeah, so it looked like that was the direct link which worked. But to get there, it looked like you could go to top my settings, your username, and it's here. It's just interesting yeah. that they chose the username as the uh, message here versus your just first name. I don't understand why yeah. they would do that, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, this looks different. Like my stats, the stats kind of went away, and it looks like there's now more like events and maybe activity that we can kind of see. So first, see yeah. First of all, the the live thing, which uh, I think Mike was also talking about, right? If you scroll down, uh, you get uh, yeah. Now you are logged in, right? <clears throat> But there was something yes. where you can see the live update or live things yes. happening on the. This is summit. only yes. This is this is only visible if you are logged out exactly. Now, if you now scroll down, yeah. you can 
Yeah, this um, one. Yeah, you, you have to scroll a lot, yes, here in the live topics. I saw the first post on LinkedIn uh, where they took some screenshots and said, here, look, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm one of the bus bosses, um, the, the next section. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. Um, but it, it's it's like it, it feels. So this though looks similar to th this at least, right? Uh, can, uh, um, uh, one question: What did you click last? Um, this 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 kind of all posts I see the first time. Ah, uh, yeah, I just clicked on the uh, this view all posts. Yeah. Ah, that's interesting because um, ah, this is one of the issues, one of the many issues. Because if you now click on view all posts, you are not logged in, then you get a completely different view. And especially you have some icons before the um, in, in, uh, left to the items. Do you see a kind of um, speeching bubble? Yeah, yeah. And if you compare this with the, with the view when you logged in, uh, you don't get these icons anymore. So you are completely lost about the kind of the type of content. You don't know anymore. Is it a question? Is this an article? Um, and and uh, Ashutosh, you can agree if you want. Uh, but in the old community, it was really helpful for me to always to differentiate yeah, yeah. The, the type of content. No? Indeed. Also, and filtering was very easy. Like you can just uh, search. You can filter on blogs, you can filter on articles, videos, and right now it's very hard. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so I went to the same page with my logged in one, and yeah, I kind of would expect a little bit of filtering of some sort. Um, okay, this is also interesting because this page exists this, but it is not um, reachable after you have logged in. Uh, you have, you have uh, taken, uh, taken the same URL, but there is no link anymore on the, on the start page, to yeah. if I'm not wrong. No, you're, you're, you're okay. correct, yeah. That's interesting. Um, yeah, a hidden feature. <laughs> because most of, the time you are, most of the time you are logged in. Uh, and um, Yeah. Yes, this is the view. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I was, I was looking and I was like, I can't find where he clicked on all posts, but that's because I was logged in. Yeah, I, I've been cheating with my browser where this one is like <laughs> the, the not logged in one, right? Um, yeah, cool. Okay, well, let's, well, let's like maybe explore, like, where do you, where do you guys want to kind of go first? Like, how, how should we explore this on maybe what's similar or what's different in the past? <clears throat> I'm, I would be interested in because um, you should you should know something. Um, MVPs have in this community their own private um, forum where we can post all of our issues and, and findings and so on. And um, today I also posted a question: Why why do we have this product hubs in, in the main navigation? It's the first time that Service Now introduces this word product hubs, and uh, it's really hard to understand what 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 they mean with this. No? And why couldn't they say? Um, products yeah yeah it's a good question uh... and, and also discussions now what what is your understanding if you read discussions what what could this be in, in in your mind i would guess this would be the questions that you would ask right like mm. but it looks like it's not that <laughs> go, go to developers yeah let's go yep. to developers okay and, yeah it's there's a missing image <laughs> yeah, the, so um, discussions to my mind is something where you answer a, a thread a, a question and so on but um, what you see here this I, I call this entry page to to more content uh, below this level now this is a kind of overview page and if you scroll down a bit right below the ask a question button on the right side Oh, no, no, more. Uh, you have to scroll more, unfortunately, I think. Uh, okay. uh, there. Uh, stop. Um, in the first widget, uh, sorry. In, in a, uh, yeah, here you can see contents. Né? And, and here you uh, can go to the forum with all the questions or to the articles and, and the blog. So, and, and the forum is something where I expect discussions. Né? But here we have um, a page which is called developer discussions. And yeah, it doesn't fit in, in my mind, but it's only my opinion. Yeah, this feels like a persona, 
right? Like instead of discussions, like if you're a developer, you may want to go here and ask or connect with other developers. If you're an architect, mm -hmm. this is like, like, like who am I or who are you or, you know, what you're interested in. Um, that's at least how, based on the content I'm seeing, like how that's being represented. Um, but it should be uniform, right, Dorian, for each persona then? Uh, because if you go to architects now, if you scroll down, you will not see the exact same thing which uh, Mike just showed you in the developer forum. So totally. the UI itself is not, uh, so now here there is no content thing, right? Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, if you see the developer forum, it's it's not, Univ uh, it's not consistent and I don't know if, yeah. Yeah, if you scroll like down now, section and then yeah. yeah, and I don't know what the difference between a form oh. and an article is, like is like who writes an article versus, is it like just asking a question versus? I, I would guess an article is, you know, a uh, kind of like a knowledge article versus where the forum is where you're asking questions and getting answers. You know, you remember on the old community how you'd have some of those posts that were like, oh, this is how you do this. And you'd have this whole long uh, list of steps, you know, or or uh, whatnot. So I, I would assume it's something like that, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly that way, yes. Um, the difference between a, a, a question and an article is is easy here but um, I, I would like to compare also a blog post with an article and and this is where i <clears throat> i'm a bit lost because blogs looks nearly the same like articles i mean i love that there's blog 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 japan Mm, what's the difference? <laughs> it, it seems like so. I understand that you know ServiceNow is really trying to expand into to Japan, but like this seems like it would be just you would want to translate or something, or like there would be a like countries or you're not talking locations. about localization, are you? But they this isn't this isn't backed by ServiceNow. Is is this on a different platform? I thought I'd heard. That they move to a different platform or is it still service now yeah i yeah i can maybe tell you something um yeah they, they moved to a platform by chorus uh, this is um, a company um yeah which won the the prize for for uh, um, uh, uh, um, running this platform here and yeah. um if you go to the website you you see that uh, they they talk about uh, build a branded community and, and this is what a complete community looks like. It's more um, a corporate website and not um, a community for the users. Mm -hmm. um, large, large teasers, large images with smiling people and so on. But, but um, what do you think? What is a typical community user? Is it a customer or is it a, the developer in Asia who has really no money to, to afford any trainings and yes, has a question? And, and for these users, it's really hard to to yeah to get into the community. The first the first yeah, reaction where where is the ask the question button? I cannot find the ask the question button anymore. Yeah, I'd assume it'd be up here. Like there should be a big button that's like ask a question. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm also just like clicking around. Like I don't know what float this question. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> the 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 developer feel is gone. So the side before this was uh, really pro developer, I think, and this is more of marketing plus developer mixed. Well, yeah, I think they're trying to get a broader audience versus you know the nerds that get in there and, and just want to ask a question and get out. Yeah, it's also like I just noticed there's like some duplication, right? So these what they're calling SIGs here um, looks like they're industries that they're supporting, whereas also it's here as well. But this list isn't full. Like there's like, like I don't know why this only has three, but like where do you go for healthcare uh, on here? 
I also cannot right. understand what the what the criteria for the order of these items was. Um, yeah, because we, on on the corporate side of ServiceNow, now, right, you have these clusters of customer workflows, um, creator workflows, and so on. And this is ah, okay. You do the responsibility test. Well, I, I was curious, <laughs> like, like, how do I get, or what does it look like on mobile, right? Because I never use community on mobile because it's like impossible oh. on my, or it used to be really hard on my phone. I'm like curious if like it's, you know, a similar experience. Um, but I mean, it, it looks okay. Um, we know it, this move, and, I, and I may have said this before, this move to communities and all this stuff is very reminiscent of, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, like PHP Nuke or Drupal or um, uh, what are some of the other ones? You know, those old, you, you'd buy web hosting and you'd automatically get those PHP setups for, you know, mm -hmm. websites. And so you'd have these, you know, you'd have people throwing up community sites all over the place. And it's just like, it's just reminiscent of that where there's, there can be a lot of duplication or a lot of segregation as far as where all this stuff lives. But ultimately it's, it's just a lot of clicking around to get to where you want to go. And it, and it can make a little bit, it can make it a little more tricky. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yep. I'm not a big fan of lots of clicking to get to something. That, <laughs> like, ideally, your search is really good to help you, right? Like, imagine if Google had this, right? Like, you would never find anything on the internet. Yeah, and that's and that's the thing is when you search, don't you? Isn't everything combined anyways? Like, it, it ignores community separation and just gives you. Um, well, maybe it does separate some things, but I. I I'm thinking like when I search for stuff, I get responses from all over. It's not just one, it's not like where I was originally. I would hope, but like if I, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's pulling from other places, right? Yeah, I think it, I think it combines everything together. Yes. And but uh, initially it was doing it in the old thing at least, and then we can filter it out. But right now, so, so just know. just search on like just hit the enter on that and go to the results page because there is some filtering there, um, and some additional stuff you can do. Human resources. When I press enter, it did the first link, but oh, did it? If I go to the search button, it looks like there is some. Yeah. So the search is really is really uh, cool. I think um, it's it's a great improvement um, compared to the to the old community. But it's really overloaded with options. Um, it takes a while to okay. to get all the options and and, and use them. It's interesting. Hey, but that at the, least the it doesn't language. open new tabs every time. <laughs> <laughs> the language is also interesting here, right? Like this is location, but like up top here, it's, you know, something different, right? I feel like there's some, some disjointedness on, on what this is versus like how they're like the branding or the, what's that, what's that word? Um, taxonomy? Not taxonomy. Yeah. It's like your content, <laughs> your, your content strategy of some sort. Like it feels like yeah. it's out of sync. Um, but I, I do like and, that uh, it's like RSS feeds for everything like that. That's kind of nice. And I don't know if you have the same issue, but you don't see the videos option in the type of post. Do you? Can you click on? No. No, right? Yeah. So because I have created tons of videos, uh, <laughs> pasted it as part of old community only as videos, but I don't know. It's not visible. Um, 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 Ashutosh, the, these contents have been uh, transformed to blog posts, if I'm not wrong. There was a complaint from one of the users also uh, who has created a lot of videos and, and um, he said that all his uh, video content was migrated to blog posts. Oh, okay. 
it's new <laughs> for me. I, I need to search then. I don't exist, yeah. Dorian. <laughs> so this is a, a Ashutosh, how would you how would you try to find your own contents? What would you do? Because I was not able I, I just, to. <laughs> so even even uh, so the. If you look at the old old community side, uh, if I go to my profile, I used to see my contribution, right? My my articles, my videos, and there it was an option to filter your content based upon all these yep. things. Right now, if I go to my profiles and if I try to find my work, oh my God, it's 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 just a list, and yep. there is so much there uh, because you have your private stats, you have your um, yeah the second one with the yep and uh, then you you don't have any filtering option here and you just see your recent notification so it's it's too much uh, at the moment and i can't figure out a way I, to see where is my video i can I, I can tell you it was one of my first questions i had to the uh, community managers and uh, on on tuesday uh, during my conversation with dan brun he he showed me how it should work, but uh, at the moment it only works for the users with more rights. Um, the idea was. Um... Ah, yeah, continue. No, I should just. Uh, and now, just I'm, I'm, be... I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I'm just um, clicking around. Um, does, it, does it not do it by my last what? name? I don't know. The service um, down. Do, do, uh, that's oh, it's it's that one. It's the underscore one. <laughs> Interesting. I, I'm I'm actually chatting with three or four people right now in uh, private chat. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> On community, it works good. Okay. Interesting. Was that um, there? Yes, before? Mike. Um, we saw this uh, search page with all the options, right? And um, maybe you can open this again. Um, this this um, yeah, entry page for the for the advanced search. Um, there is no direct link. Um, you have to yeah, exactly. So and um, Dan Brun showed me his what what he can see. He can open this page and without entering any search terms, uh, he gets a list of search results. So. You just, and then you just have to drill down. If you click on author, you can say, uh, show me my articles. But for us at the moment, it's not working because we have to enter some search terms. And this makes no sense because I want to see all my articles and not a reduced um, set of articles. So um, he is aware of this issue and he tries to find the solution. So we really can have our, our list of our contents. That will help, yes. Now you see, yeah, you you um, you see here null results, no zero results, and um, um, and the community manager sees here one hundred thousand results without entering anything. And then mm. you can drill down. Yeah, but but, but for me it's only a workaround. No? I... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I would also like to have uh, something we had in the community before on, on our profile page you know, that we can see um, our articles, click on this number, and then we see the complete list. Yeah. But that's not possible at the moment. No. And, and one yeah, interesting and then, thing yeah. is, w one more thing which I was a bit, uh, I don't like basically is if you go to the notification part, uh, Dorian, in your uh, thing, there is a bell icon, right? And here, hmm. if I want to mark something as red, it's not possible. You always have to click on that link. It will open the link and then you are going to have to come to this page to see if it is red or I mean, the notification is gone or not. And yeah. in yeah. past, it was possible. Well, well, it sucks is like maybe I have 50 notifications. I click on it. Now it goes away and I didn't even click on any of these, right? So exactly, and, and I, can't, I can't keep track of that. And then if so, the thing was mark as read and mark as unread was very helpful because then when you have time, you can come back and you can see what needs needed an attention, so you can reply. But right now, it's not possible. It's it's just uh, something which we have to open 
come back and then it will only be marked as unread. Hmm. I wonder if like, what is these macros for? <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of options which are not explained. Um, this is really a pity. And sometimes I have no idea what is the concept behind these options, whether no, they, they customized an, an, an product built, uh, a cell, sold by, by Coros. But I have the feeling that some of these options do not make, do not make any sense for our community. No, they, they are still active, but um, there is no effect after using this. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I'm just like clicking through settings for like, is there a max? Like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I like, have felt I a pain like, also. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no I was just saying, like, <laughs> like I feel like I, I'm just like having to go through a lot of this. There's not a lot of like it wasn't. I felt like the other community was super intuitive and it was very simple and it solved a very unique problem of like. ServiceNow has a complex platform and we need to understand ways to do something in the platform like this, you know, I think, as you said, Mike, it, it doesn't feel like it's for developers anymore. This is like, like a manager or a salesperson to like show here's where you can get other content. Um, now, yeah. We, we had some, we, we had a, um, a session before this new community went live and, and we were introduced to new concepts. And I was wondering why they always said our customers. So ServiceNow says they build a community for their customers, but that's not right to my mind. They, they have to build a community for the users. And most of the users are not the customers of ServiceNow. They have no, no relationship to ServiceNow. Um, Thousands of developers around the world uh, just have a question, and and they they are not interested in any marketing stuff. Yeah. It's, it's my yeah. mind, my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I would totally agree with that. I mean, again, I, I think developers, like you said, just want to go ask their question and get an answer. They don't want to have to dig around, you know, trying to get that done. And uh, there's a lot of additional, like, they really should have separated this out. <laughs> <laughs> developers and everyone else. <laughs> yeah, super interesting. I mean, there is a lot of options here, though. Hopefully that, like, they, like, it helps. But, yeah, and I remember when I, the first time I heard about their redoing the site was when they, like, couldn't save, like, a week's worth of content. They had to, like, shut down the site and then or the old community or put it on freeze and then any date between like it was i don't know the, the last week of september or the first week of mm -hmm. october any new stuff would it make it to the new site and like i think some of the complaints was like how can a you know fortune 100 company like from a technology standpoint like have a week downtime mm -hmm. essentially um, so I thought that was really interesting that like moving this was, was really hard for, for them. Yeah. Can, can you also go to, uh, if you click, create a question, uh, somewhere, yeah. if you find an option, <laughs> I can tell you not on this side. Yeah. <laughs> developers, developers, discussion, developers. Uh, no discussions, developers. Yeah, it is there for sure. Developers. Yeah, that's a good question. Well, while that's talk, coming talk. up, you know, I I went to the uh, the idea. What was it? What is it called? The idea. Um, idea portal. Yeah, the idea <laughs> portal, and the one that's ranked the highest right now is stop removing helpful content from the community. And, and so, here we have I, the next problem, not that the idea portal is not um, reachable anymore for most of the users. It's it's now part of the um, support portal. So, and, yeah. and again, not, yeah. most of the users do not have an account in a support portal. 
Yeah, it, it sure. takes you over to support that service now. And I, I wonder if the browser testing was done because the image which for you it's broken, but for me it's open. Uh, I mean, I can see the image, Dorian. Yeah, no, I'm just using Firefox, right? So I, I have the same problem on Edge. <clears throat> I maybe it's only it, maybe uh, it's only for MVPs. Bro. Only you guys oh, no. get it, <laughs> not not us regular people. <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs> and if you no, I don't I don't think that should happen because it's just an image. <laughs> Reload image, maybe. Yeah, let's open this image in a new tab. Access denied. Ooh, nice. you're a nobody. You get no access, Dorian. Yeah, interesting. Web so, STG. I wonder what that is. That's for another yeah. day. Uh, if you <laughs> now click on ask a question, <laughs> another day. <laughs> yes. It's good. Okay. Some some good things at least I liked about this was to uh, it's a, we can link a product now actually, uh, and there is a good search. Uh, for the related items it was there in the old portal but it was not that visible here it is uh, the only thing i uh, yeah, i didn't like this because if you what click on uh, discussions and architecture for example mm -hmm. and now here you see only architecture forum i don't know why but we see i see architecture of forums architects articles and architect blogs mm. uh, three things but mm -hmm. According to me, as a user experience, we should get three different options before we ask the question that do you want to create an article? Do you want to create a blog or do you want to create a question in forum? And it should automatically get tagged. It also makes you refresh your page. So let's, I wonder if I change the location after the fact, are they going to, okay, they at least keep my content, which is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is hard. Like, first of all, it's a check, like a, a drop down list. Like, guys, like, why isn't it like type ahead or something? And am I supposed to, like, is it better to put it in the developer form or in the. the, the yeah. What, what gets more traction? You know, where, where is the yeah. best place to put a question? I think always developer forum, right? Because every, many people have sub, <laughs> subscribed to it, so everyone gets uh, immediate notification. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's the thing is, you know, when when you start talking about user experience and and whatnot, the simplest path to whatever they can do is what people are going to use. You know, you, you've seen that that picture of the it's usually at a college, the lawn where they tried to make yeah. people go around the quad or whatever, and then all you see is this like trek right through the middle of it because that's the <laughs> easiest path you know if i have to go through here and figure out where i'm trying to save you know put a question uh but yeah you're right developers where i would go because that's what you know that's what i do i don't think i'd ever try to foray out into something different i, I don't know john was this is this the question is this a good question uh, well the question was, um, how do you stylize the, the AI search? And so far, the responses. So Brad was like, you know, there's only certain things you can change, which is like some coloring and maybe some fonts and stuff like that. They're, you really are very restricted. Um, who did I say? Dave. Dave suggested using Mutation Observer in a wrapper. And I was like, ooh, I've used Mutation Observer before. And that's just a whole load of, like, stuff to to load every time right just to style something and uh, oh what do you <laughs> uh, i'm like I'm, I'm trying to use these hints that they're giving me but apparently ai is intelligent no, is there don't be there is, is there space, a space? Yeah. yeah no no go back to the pound there shouldn't be a space should there no that oh it it space. puts it there i see but it's like maybe someone AI. hasn't created tags for AI search. I, I hate when there's like type oh. letters and the word is only two. Can you make your own tags though? Isn't that what was in that, that uh, profile thing settings or wherever you were Dorian that was talking about tags? Like, can you create tag? Oh, links to products. 
Um, I, I think the labels or what, what you say tech is um, dependent on what um, location you have selected. I uh, can try to select um, the AI, AI, AI search or was it AI forum or anything like this. And then you yeah. see more, more labels on the right side. Well, let's post this. Oh, and you got auto save too. So I can't, I can't use the labels if they don't exist. Well, that's exactly. You can only use the labels which are offered. So what we, what what you have here on uh, as labels was previously the the topics. Maybe you can remember below a forum we also had these kind of topics, and and um, these topics have been migrated to labels, and you still cannot create your own your your own labels slash topics. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's lame. So we guys, we posted a question. There we go. Maybe we could add products this way. What what I like is that so you're a kilo expert. Somehow I moved up to giga expert or giga something or other, and I'm like, well, I didn't even do anything. <coughs> I think so, I was, I'm not even sure what that even I, means. I was I was downgraded apparently. I was a giga contributor. Oh, that's what I am a giga contributor. I don't even know what that like. I don't honestly. I don't contribute a, a lot. In fact, you yeah. have more posts than I do. But I, I did get oh. notified that you put my name on something. Okay. Cool. I got some kudos, though. Guys, I don't yeah. use this enough. <laughs> oh, we got some stats. Private stats, guys. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, those are those are private. We shouldn't be seeing those, Dorian. But this is, like, based on login. I feel like I've used community so much outside of logged in. Like, I feel like I've done so much. But... Well, but, you know, back then it was that box that kept coming up. Would you like to log in? And so it was. It got to the point where you're like, I don't leave me alone. Stop yeah. bugging me about logging in. So you'd never log in. It only was when you were logged into your PDI, and then you'd go to community afterwards that you got <laughs> stats recorded. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. I like. I mean, I'm all for data, right? I think it's super interesting. Um, but oh, there's a welcome guide though. Maybe we should have. I think also if ServiceNow knew that I just logged in, it probably should have brought me to, you know, some guide of some sort. Um, yeah. And for me, that should be the first uh, in your header, community resources. Yeah. Rather than keeping product hubs, you should keep, it, if it's me, it, then I would have recommended keep community resources first. It, it would have, it's as if they could have run a campaign <laughs> to, <Yeah. laughs> to, to, to show this stuff. Um, I mean, yeah. Campaigns only exist in service now, Dorian. Nowhere oh, else. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there's Giga Sage and Terra Patron. I want a Giga Sage. Um, this is now what they have done. done. Go ahead, go ahead, Mike. Um, um, yeah. Um, then said to me that he wants to extend um, the explanations regarding your your levels and, and, and titles because um, this title is, is um, combined with two parts. The first part um, is the, um, the differentiation within one, one um, like Google or expert. Né? We have Kilo and Mega and so on. And then you jump to the next rank né? as a guru and start with, uh, I don't know, Kilo. Um, cannot remember anymore. So and, and uh, there, were, there were a lot of questions. What does it mean? And, and um, it, they have to explain it better. And um, I also ask, how, how, how is the, the, the formula behind this? How it's calculated, huh? your rank? And um, yeah, my, my impression is they don't want to answer it or they cannot answer it because you know, it's, it's done by chorus in, in the background. And um, one of, but I know one of the metric uh, or KPIs is your is your visit or your views. Right? Therefore, you saw your uh, the views in your profile stats, or um, how often you click on something. Right? This is um, something which is um, respected um, when calculating your rank. Yeah, it's, it's definitely it's definitely interesting. I, I think I think where I struggle is like. Service now could totally incentivize this better, right? Like, you know, as, as we kind of mentioned in the beginning, like we, we have full-time jobs and a lot of our time when we're trying to implement, we have to use community because 
there's there's no other choice, right? But somebody's going out of their way. Like both of you are are you know top fifteen on contributors, right? So like you guys must spend a lot of your time helping out the community, and you 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 don't really get get much for it, or, or maybe you do get much for it. Any thoughts on that? Um, yeah. I mean, how can I answer this? Because no. <laughs> we get we we, we we do get some uh, recognition, of course, uh, by spending time, by doing the uh, by answering uh, more questions, creating more content, and. Do you want me to say something about like how it is different in the old community site and how it is right now in the new <laughs> community site? Or I think I'm more like you know you're new to service now, or maybe you're a little bit experienced. Like, what's in it for someone to to contribute to community? Like how like what's in it for you guys, or or, or like with your peers, or like is it worth it for me to be constantly on getting an email of a new topic and trying to respond to it like what's what drives you guys to to kind of continue to use the community yeah so so i have said it in my other uh, podcasts as well that it is actually it was actually a true source of learning for me when i started with service now right because there are so many new use cases which you can actually take a challenge for yourself go to your pdis try to implement it try to see how it works so that was the first thing second thing is if you are new to a certain topic right if you are uh, new to secops for example try to follow people ask uh, get in contact with them connect with them networking i think dorian we did that <laughs> uh, during knowledge as well right so that was the second thing which helped me so networking increased my knowledge got increased and the third part is um, people like, like for example, MVPs, the, the, the service now product owners, they continuously keep putting something new uh, whenever there is a new release, whenever there is some changes made to the app store for that particular product. So the subscribe option was very helpful because I was on top of things uh, whenever there was something new posted on the community. And last, and then I will uh, stop. <laughs> and the last one was asking more and more questions because if I don't know something and if I want to really get an answer to it, yeah, ask the questions, but just don't bombard the community with same questions in multiple forums because that is done by some people and we have reported it on ourselves that one question was asked like 10 times because they want answer. And there was also mis usage of community to just get points. Don't use it for that. Use it for learning is something which I did at least. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Um, I'm, I'm just wondering, Ashutosh, why you say everything in the past, um, how it's today? You said no, it was and, and so on. Um, it... <laughs> to be honest, uh, because of the, uh, how can I say, like the spies or, or the robots, which are taking our points away and which is just anyone is replying anything in the uh, in the community uh, if i ask a good question let's say dorian you are asking a question now just for sake of getting some points we are getting some answers which are not even relevant and the interest is going away slowly so i lost my interest because of a couple of things like okay i am replying i am doing something <coughs> Uh, and some other question was marked as correct uh, or answer was marked as correct by that person just because he was his colleague or friend, something like that. That was first thing. Second, I think uh, uh, the quality of question. So the way you are asking the question uh, is some people are asking it very in detail and it's very good because then we as a contributors can contribute to that question and answer it pretty quickly because we know the background and some questions are just single line like my business rule is not running help okay but <laughs> give me the context right <laughs> so there is <laughs> there is something which is maybe it's personal that 
the interest is getting more and more away and that's the reason i started creating more content creating more videos more articles more posts on my site putting it also on community because if people search it on community they are redirected there and that matters right i'm still contributing to the community but in a other way not directly answering the questions but whenever i have a time whenever someone reaches out to me uh, via linkedin and just paste me the community link i go and i answer i look at it uh, but not like how i used to do it like uh, for last 4 6 years uh, one of the things that i used to be super frustrating for me was someone would say I found the answer here and they link to another community thing and they don't give any context context to it. And you go and you click it and you're like, now I have to read like 50 posts to like get the answer <laughs> I was looking for. Like you, you could just paraphrase if you're going to link to something and say, this is more information here and you, you get the answer again. But, but they're usually yeah. the people that are like, you know, mark me as giving you the answer type yeah, people yeah. and it's just like oh this had nothing to do with what i was after did you even read my question you know i don't know i, I, I i'll be honest i i was i got turned off community early on just because of how i don't know I, when i got to the point of needing to ask a question i needed the answer like then i, I didn't have time to wait for responses and so I, that's why I, I really did i hit s and devs hard on slack and stayed there for for quite a while when i was when i was new met a lot of people through that and so forth i, I just never got into communities because it was always to the point where i just I, I didn't have time to wait for answers and so and a lot of times i'm terrible with my questions and so it's always like a follow-up conversation for me to reiterate in a better way what my original question was and so i'm the kind of guy that's like oh yeah my business rule doesn't run and then they're like what business rule and then you got to go into the explanation but it requires like having that conversation you know you can't do it through community very well people just won't answer you know so it's it's on me why i don't use community but um because of those some of those <laughs> things. yeah yeah it, it, it that is exactly one thing right and then what i did is usually i was very interested in item so i focused on item so in the i don't know if we can see it on the leaderboard now but on item i was the leader uh in contribution uh at least till this year no and um, you're yeah you are right as uh, saying this there there are no topic related leaderboards anymore yeah it's correct yes and and john what you said right interest so I, item was my interest so i gave my like my 200 percent to that forum because i learned from it I, I really like that forum because every day new challenge i think an item is so vast uh, that you learn every day you learn new things uh, and then you try to implement it if you have that particular resources even in your environment right and thanks to community again because of that i met so many great people in the item community i'm in touch with right now and they are helping me on s and devs Mm. Uh, slack channels everywhere so that is what community gave so it's not like everything is bad there but it's it's more about uh how you used it and how you are going to use it in future are you going to just use it to get points then don't be here please mm -hmm. if you are going to <laughs> if you are here to learn and help then yeah here yeah. yeah. because i had a fight literally two years ago with one of the guy every question you answer you put please mark like please like it please mark the answer correct <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, why you are doing this? If you if your answer is really great and if it's really helpful, you are going to get it. So, so just help. So let's let's kind of like try to wrap up. Like, what's like one thing, like not even redesign or in general. Like, what do you feel is like one thing missing from the community? Whether it's just the process, the technology, the people, like how do we make community better or either asking for it or do it ourselves? And I'll, I'll throw it to John first to answer it because he doesn't like community. <laughs> well, but mine's more, you know, it's, it's more a, it, me personally, why I don't like community just because there's a lot of, and this may only be from the old version. I don't know if it's, if it's carried over. Um, I suspect it has a little bit, but you know, the whole, wanting to get the point thing 
it, it drives me nuts. I, if I'm searching community for an answer, I want an answer that's specific to the question that's, that's being asked. Like, so, you know, the AI search there, there was one result when I was searching for it that, um, you know, you had to, you had to scroll through quite a bit of answers to even get a nugget of truth. Right. And I think that's another problem is, um, I, I kind of wish it was like Reddit where the higher ranked or the more correct answers would bubble up to the top. Cause I made the mistake on one. I was looking at one question looking for an answer and I, I didn't realize there was a load more cause it was below the, the bottom of my screen. And so I thought that it just ended there because there was no more scroll. But then someone's like, Oh, did you not read the answer? Like 43 down. And I was like, what? <laughs> there's more. Um, you know, I think that's another problem is, is if there's a long list of answers, it's hard to know where the correct one is because it doesn't bubble to the top. So whatever's marked as correct, that should bubble up to the first response right below the question. Um, I think that would be super helpful um, over but, a lot of other but, things. But John, it is exactly as you said at, at the moment. The, the answer which is marked as correct is at the, is at the top. Is it? Can okay. see it at first. Yes, and, and you, this answer has also a green check mark. Also, it is it is visualized in a, in another way. So, but but the problem is um, that most of the questions or most of the answers are not marked as correct. Now, previously in the, in the in the previously community, only one answer could be marked as correct. So often the the the, uh, the users who uh, ask a question did not want to decide who to give this correct answer mm -hmm. right? because the, 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 the users were competing. And um, so they, they, they didn't check anything. But now in the new community, I saw that you can mark several answers as correct. Awesome. And this is one yeah. of the improvements to my mind. Cool. All right, so John yeah. wants some more Reddit style community. Well. So let me let me roll that back a little bit. I'm, I'm looking at one right now, and he and, and Mike's correct. These accepted solutions do bubble up to the top, which is perfect. I love that. Um, I guess the only I, what I would fall back on is is the whole uh, load more piece, because like I said, I, I didn't realize there was load more because it, it sat below what I where I was at. Um, but I, I I think the other you know again the other problem is the point people, the people who want points that give these terrible answers, you know, and fill up a whole list of, of answers with these things. And you're like, where's the real answer? <laughs> Super long winded responses with not the right answer. <laughs> yeah, it requires a lot of work on my part to parse through all this stuff. And that's where it, yeah. I, you know, it bothers me. So I'm like, I want my answer. I don't want to have to read a book. Yeah. All right, Ashu, <laughs> what, what thing you, you, you think we could, in, the community could use to improve? For me, like I said, the, the developer touch is missing at the moment. So it should be uh, at least on the as on the landing page, it should be more uh, like a developer feeling because that is the major audience for ServiceNow who is landing on the community site. So okay. cool. there is more marketing thing at the moment there. And, and what about you, Mike? Yeah, I'm still struggling with a lot of issues, bugs, and and um, conceptual things I don't understand. So I'm I cannot concentrate on on contribute to the community. Um, so I'm in the last days several times I started a try to answer something, and then I saw again this issue at the top, and uh, I was um, distracted from from the answer and. Um, um, and, and maybe I want to answer your, your first question. What was my intention? Um, um, I also start learning uh, service now via the community, not just by reading the answers, just by subscribing to topics or, or questions which um, uh, haven't been answered so far. And, and then I got an email and, and I saw, okay, this is the answer. And, and then I started answering myself. No, and I, you know, it, I like that this uh, to to get visibility, um, but I also like to write articles. Now I'm I'm more the writer. No? I'm I'm not the one who is um, creating any YouTube channel like you. And um, and I like to write articles. And um, I also like that articles have been honored by, with points. Mm -hmm. no? someone book 
bookmarked your article, you got 20 points. Uh, every 1,000 views, to, you got 60 points. But now it doesn't matter anymore. Um, so it's now said, yeah, they, they respect any kind of metrics regarding articles, but they don't say how and, and uh, how is it calculated. So I'm, I'm a bit demotivated at the moment, um, mm -hmm. but I will start, I will go on writing articles. Um, um, and, and for me, it's always here, look at that article. I, I can paste in the answer uh, in, a link to my article and see here, the answer is written here. And this was my kind of answering. Yeah. Cool. You, you know what I'm hearing, Dorian, is Mike should be on our show more often to mm -hmm. present his articles since he can't get them on. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll promote your content, Mike. No problem. We, we've already promoted some of your content, Mike. <clears throat> uh, emerging XML is like, we'll, we'll continue yeah. to promote it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, At the moment, cool. I have a lot of work to redesign the articles because a lot of, of styling and, and HTML was is broken in the new community via migrating, uh, automatic migrating. Um, so a lot of hours are wasted to, to get the things done again. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really tough. All right. Well, thank you for the input, everyone. Um, I really appreciate it. I, I had no idea what to expect when I logged into ServiceNow's community. Um, and hopefully it'll just kind of get in, like improve in the future. Community had no attention for the longest time, but now it looks like they're at least focused on you know improving it and building more onto it. And maybe because they outsourced it now, they'll have more time to to build more features. I, I don't know what service sounds budget is, but hopefully that, that kind of helps. So I'll give us all a little, yeah. like little drum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, uh, thanks for coming on Mike and Ashu. Always a pleasure. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Yep. 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 Thanks everyone. Thank see you. Ya. Thank you. Boy, see ya.